Hi, and welcome to the Vector Interactive Lesson on Drawing Vector Paths. Now, all items in Vector are in fact vector paths. You have a, this rectangle, the rounded rectangle, this circle or ellipse are all paths. Uh, but sometimes you want to draw your own path from scratch. Now in Vector, there's two ways to do that. You can use the pen tool, which inserts path points one point at a time. Or you can use the pencil tool, where you click and drag to draw your own custom path freehand. Let's start with the pencil tool. Select the tool, and clicking and dragging, you see you, that you can draw a freehand. And as soon as you release your mouse, you'll stop drawing your path. Now the pen tool is a bit different. Each time you click, it's going to insert another point in your vector path. If you click and drag, it will start to insert curves. To finish drawing, press your Enter key. Now you'll see that this is what's called an open path, meaning that these two sides don't connect to one another and there's an opening here. You can extend this path, meaning adding more points, by double clicking, selecting one of these endpoints, and then drawing more points. You can also close the path by drawing a point that connects to the other side. Now, like we mentioned, everything in vector is actually a vector path. So let's insert a rectangle, which is a vector path. And then let's talk about how to edit this path. To edit a path's points, you first need to double click the item. Once you have, you'll see that all of these individual points pop up. Now a rectangle has four straight points. You can click and drag to move these. You can select more than one by holding down your shift key and then moving them together. And again, when you're finished editing, just press your enter key. Now in Vector, there's two different kinds of points on a path. You have straight points, there's four straight points here, and you have curves. Now you can switch between both by double clicking on the point. So you'll see that this is a curve, I double click it, and it changes to a straight point. I double click it again, and it changes to a curve. You can edit a curve by dragging these control handles on either side. You'll notice that when you drag the control handle on the right side, the control handle on the left side also changes and moves the same distance. If you don't want it to move the same distance, hold your shift key and the distances will be independent of one another. If you want each side to be completely independent of one another, hold your meta key and you can adjust each side completely independently as long as you're holding your meta key down. Now I'll double click this curve again to change it back to a straight point. You'll notice that these straight points have an extra control inside the path here. What this is for is rounding the corners. If you click and drag this control, you'll notice that this straight point's corner is being rounded as you drag this inside. If you want to round all of the corners of your path at the same time, hold down your shift key and all of the corners in the path will round equally at the same time. That's all for now. You'll be able to try all of this for yourself in the interactive lesson. We hope you enjoy.